Hi everybody, um, this is a tank hatch video part two, but it's also a quick video on how to get the top off. Right, so let me just move this out of the way. Right. It is quite obvious that underneath there's six screws, two on the on the sponsor plate, but two you've got to remember is there's two sneaky little screws up above the rear idler wheel on the back to take the top of the hull off. Now when you lift it up all the wires going to the control module are very tight so the minute you take the top off a couple of the LED connections pop out See along here, these are all your connections for all your lights. Now, in the instruction manual, it does tell you. Hold on, you get quite a comprehensive um, guide there for which ones go in which connectors. The only trouble with this wind diagram is none of the wires are color coded. So um, the two that popped out for me were that were tight was the gun flashing light and the headlight. Now there is another wire which hold on, let me turn this up the other way. There's another LED wire, which is this one here. If you can just see. Hold on, bear with me. Focus. That pink and blue LED goes up into the, the um, BB firing mechanism, which I can only imagine it must be the aiming light but there's no light, so I don't, I'm not sure if that's fitted. So, um, there's no light coming out of that. Now, when I lifted the top, I was really careful. I don't think that one was connected. Anyway, let's get back to the job in hand. Right, cutting those hatches out is no easy task. It really bloody hurts your fingers. And wrecks your modeling knife as in pulling the blade out pulls all the pulls it apart this come off you know when you're going through when you're cutting you know when you're going through because the blade you can feel it it's almost like a suction and as you're sliding it along it pulls the blade out of the out the handle so you know you're going through so what what i suggest you do is what i found easy if you cut all your straights and you cut the corners as best you can. You can't get through on the corners. What you need to do is, as you get your straight edge, you go through, get your knife up vertical, and you can just sort of plunge cut it round on each side. If you can get round, if you can get round these these top edges, and because you can't quite get into this tight corner here, and you just if you can just. The first one is the hardest one because once you get through the first one you can get your finger through and push that one push that one up. Right now I've made my sexy brackets to glue in. See what, what these hatches come with is a little spring and a self tapper. But what I have, I measured these um, 
my upstand on this edge is two mil too low. So when you put the patch in, it sits too high at the moment. So I'm just going to go down and get on the computer on the com and pro reprogram that in and try and make that a couple of mil thicker. So and that'll push the that'll, that'll push the hatch in so it'll just recess in focus. So then it'll just recess in, recess in look a bit nicer. And stop it slopping around. Now what I um, have just taken out, if you can see on the front here, I've taken out the Henlong light. This is what I was on about. If you look at the LED on the front, it's just focus. They've sprayed over the top of it to try and dim it down, but it's really, there you go, it's really bright. And not, oh, this is the right shape. If they had just put a slot across the front there. Now, th when this goes in, that's the two connecting wires, which go through that hole. And then that piece there is just glued on the inside. So you just have to turn the top of the hull over, trim the glue off, cut the wires, and that pops out. Now, the new one... See, that's much um, a much better looking light and correct. The trouble is it's got a pole on the back rather than a slot. So what we're going to just have to do is just drill a little plunge hole in there, push that in and then the wires will go through there. And that'll be fit on there, look much better. The only thing is because it's an LED it's still a very white light where the, you know the old like on your older car, the light was more yellowy colour. So I might put a yellow wash over the, the bulb inside there, just to dim it down slightly. Now I've been buying my stuff from... Is the leaflet around? These guys here. Forge Bear Tanks. Um, they send the stuff out within a couple of days. Very efficient. They do loads of stuff for one sixteenth scale. Have a look on them. Anyway, so that is a part two. I'm going to go and remake these, or go and reprogram them. Then I'll, I'll print them up on the printer. It'll take about 20 minutes. And then hopefully I can get those glued in. But what I need to do is go and prime the hatches. Um, so they're already done. Okay, part two. See you later, guys. Bye.